over half a dollar, and that's a Mexican 20 centavo coin, a copper coin. They're almost the same size, but they're obviously two different colors. So it would be very easy to tell the coins apart by their colors, but do you think you could do it by the size of the coins? I tell you what, hold out your right hand for me. Hold these coins tight. Make a fist. Turn your hand over. Don't let them get out. I tell you what, keep your hand right where it is, but with this hand, reach into the thumb side, and just by a sense of touch, take out the 50 cent coin, the half a dollar, and put that right over there. Perfect. Now, if you take it out the 50 cent coin, which coin should you be holding? The 20 cent coin. You're absolutely right. But if I merely cast a shadow over your hand, the coin will change. You don't believe me? <laughs> take a look. Because now you uh, have... a quarter. It is a quarter. And that is scotch and soda. Oh, this is a... This is no big shakes. It's uh, kind of a rite of passage. Every magician has to start with... Uh, one little effect when he's beginning. This is kind of a kind of a rite of passion. I'm going to try to. Can everybody see what's here? There's a penny on top of a sheet of rubber, and uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to attempt to push it through and not make a hole. But to be honest with you, I think I picked, I picked too large a coin. If I had a smaller coin, if I had a smaller coin, it might work. Everybody focus on that on that penny. All right. Let's see. I can do it. Hold on. If I get it a little smaller, if I if I get the dime smaller, if I can get if I can get you know, smaller, then I, then I can push it right through. Is that right? Yeah. A little game. This is the cheapest trick I own. Um, you see all these magicians, and, and you uh, you think they have to have these uh, big stage elaborate illusions. Um, but this is 14 cents. Like I said, the cheapest trick I own. <laughs> Four pennies and one dime. Yes? yes? Might be very difficult for some to see. Uh, so I'm going to make this as, as big as possible. Uh, I don't want to do the work here, especially with the small coins like this. You, you've seen me manipulate coins. And uh, I could cheat. Uh, I could do sleight of hands. I don't want to be the hands involved here. So I want someone to help me out. Uh, if, if, uh, well, if you can do this for me. Uh, I don't want to touch the coins too much, but this is what I want you to do. I'm going to place the coins in your hand, just like so. Okay, you can see two pennies on the bottom, two pennies on the top with the dime in the middle. All you have to do is stack them up like a stack of poker chips. You can square them up on the sides and hold it from top to bottom. So we just get into this position, basically. Uh, but I want you to hold it out right in front of you, just like that. I don't want to be anywhere near you when you do this. So place your, place your, uh, let's go with your right hand so everybody can see. So place these out. So you can see two pennies, the dime, and two more pennies. Don't move, because I'm way too close. I could do something sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to step over here. So you remember what to do? Oh, yeah. So go ahead. Then square it up and then hold it uh, from top to bottom. Perfect. And bring it out a little more in front of you. I want to be just out of reach. Okay. You can pick it up. I, don't. I have the dime. Give me a. <laughs>